Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning and welcome to the United States Capitol. Tomorrow at 8.46 a.m., the Capitol will join the nation in a moment of silent tribute to those that we lost on September 11, 2001. It is one of many such moments, uh, silent or otherwise. They come by instinct now. We stand taller for the colors. The hand is steadier on the heart. A prayer is felt, not just said. And we pull together when we might uh, not have done so before. This is the response of a people who share a stubborn belief in each other. It's a search to grasp whatever it was in the character of those men and women who, leaving life at its peak, thought of others before themselves. Tomorrow we mourn for what was taken from us. Today we consider what was left behind, stories we tell and retell, a legacy we strive to claim, and families that we ache to serve. Many of those loved ones are with us today, and please join me in welcoming them to our ceremony. All that we Americans are, and all we will ever be, we owe to the fallen heroes of 9-11. That day was made up of many sacrifices from which emerged one spirit, a unity embodied in the metal that we entrust today to each member. Since the earliest days, Congress has awarded gold medals in recognition of extraordinary deeds. Among the first recipients were George Washington, John Paul Jones, Andrew Jackson, and to this day there's no higher honor that we can bestow. This is the first time the medal has been given in honor of so many fallen innocents, and we pray it is the last time. That, more than anything, is why we do this, because the most stirring, lasting tribute of all of, is for we who remain never to forget and never to rest until our work is done. Thank you all for being here today.